Hello, this is Rex Carlock reporting from somewhere in Utah again, and this is another thing on the My Take series. Now, I'm sure most of you are expecting a rant on Cartoon Network since that's what I usually rant about, or that's what my last two were about. You know, I was just extremely pissed off about it. This time, it's going to be on the Discovery Networks. At least the ones I watch, uh, I, I, I used to watch usually, like TLC and Discovery Channel. Now, first off, TLC. They used to have things on, like, Mega Machines, and this was back in the 90s, of course, and, and early 2000s, of course. You know, just like when Cartoon, ne when Cartoon Network was king and when all the other sh TV shows were good. And, but anyways, now, TLC had Mega Machines, it had Junkyard Wars, where people would build stuff out of junk, and, but... It was functional, it would actually work, and it would work well, you know, it, and it would just go uh, to prove how far human ingenuity could and destroy, build, destroy, rip that off, of course. Only they also took Spike TV's boom, so it, they mixed them together. This boom, oh, they blow up shit, but that's not what this is about. Anyways, TLC had Junkyard Wars, it had Mega Machines, it had all this educational stuff, you know, it would, you know, and a few other things like a baby story. But you'd still learn a bit from that. But anyways, they, they also had... I can't remember all the stuff they had on them because, you know, I barely wa watch it now and I didn't watch it even that much back then. But now they have, like, what crap, a whole bunch of crap about fashion. I don't even watch it and I don't look at their program list because... You know, that channel completely sucks now. They had John and K plus 8. I saw, like, five minutes and changed the channel because, you know, I don't care about their family life. I honestly don't. Because it's boring. You know? But Little People, Big World, same thing. You know, I don't care if they're... Sm I don't care if they're special or small. It's just not good TV. It's boring. And now... That's that's all I got on TLC because I because I don't watch it that often anymore. I don't I barely watch any of the Discovery Network save for Travel Channel when it has stuff about water parks and amusement parks on because I like because I like because amuse to me amusement parks and water parks are the funnest places in the world. You know, but anyways, you know now Discovery Channel is where we're getting deep into it. Now Discovery Channel still does educational stuff like say you know stuff about some stuff about space but most of the educational stuff is on the history channel now because discovery channel you know it ha it still has raging planet and it still has very scientific stuff but not otherwise 90 percent of the time when i change the channel to it it's showing freaking deadliest catch now i i used to like it a little bit then i but then i realized all the episodes were the same Oh, we're catching a lot of crap. Oh, we're catching very little. Oh, now we used to be catching a lot, but now we're catching a little. Huh, I wonder how that happened. Yeah, it couldn't have been because we're fishing in this area. But it's all, you know, all the episodes are basically the same, but, you know, it has like six fucking seasons. You know, and that's co total crap. But, and now they're having a spin off where people are fishing for swordfish. I don't really care, you know, I understand that fishing for Alaskan crab is the deadliest job in the world. I can understand that. Okay, so we only needed one season to understand that. But no, it's it's basically the same thing every time. You know, the crew members get bitchy because they've been fishing so long, you know, they get tired of... They get tired of catching, doing the thing they do to earn money, you know. They get tired of that, and they just go bitch to the boss that they want a bigger paycheck. You know, it's... You know, it's crap. And... Uh, and... But they have, like, endless seasons, because the only... Because the only thing they need to budget for is a freaking camera crew. And... You know, now they're doing this new swords thing where it's... You know, it's basically just crap. At least Survivor Man... He was surviving in different areas, and so it would be a little bit different from what uh, he did the previous week. You know, now he's doing Survivor Man on Cartoon Network crap. Anyways. But anyways. You know, the Discovery Channel. 
you know, the Discovery Channel, I, I'd actually watch it a lot again if, you know, if it would just stop airing so much Deadliest Catch. Maybe one episode per day or something. Okay, maybe, and that's it. But not, like, 20 per day. Like, not like a marathon every day. I don't need, no one needs to see all that fishing. I mean, I can barely sit through one. But anyways, sorry about the noise. I got my portable DVD player on in here. Anyways, so, I mean, but TV is crap nowadays, and I've got about four or five minutes left, so there's a network. There's another network I like to talk about. It's Spike TV. I think it was rebranded from TNN or something. I don't know. They used to have Robot Wars and all this ac other action you junk like they'd have Monster Jam and stuff. I don't really know if TNN was rebranded to Spike TV. I just don't know. But this Spike TV also has a lot of action stuff. You know, including the Ultimate Fighter. I, I saw way... But I've seen way too much of the UFC, okay? It's... You know, eventually it just gets boring. You know, you see repeats of anything for a while, it gets boring. But anyways... You know... Other than that, they have... They'd have, like, the, they have the DEA, which is pretty cool, but... One little show that they seem to relish, and they have marathons practically every day, and on weekends of it, is CSI. Now, I... Now, I can understand why people like murder mysteries and investigation, but does that really... But do we really need to see five episodes... A, five, four to five episodes per day, including weekends? I mean, you know, give them one or two, then leave the rest to action. Leave the rest to the world's most amazing videos, or, you know, uh, one of those other action and explosion-related things on there. But, you know, just... We don't need to see four or five episodes of guys doing nothing but investigating stuff. But anyways, yeah, the Discovery Networks, you know, are basically turning into real, on that more reality show networks. I saw, I mean, I saw a few minutes of MTV the other day. It was, I know, a show on called Room Raiders, where apparently a guy would go through three girls' rooms, decide which one would become his girlfriend, and then they get to go through his his room. Is is that like televised panty raids? What? But I never really watched MTV that much to begin with. And besides, you know, it's the Discovery Networks that I watch a lot, and, and there was Cartoon Network, but, you know, mainly... But this one is mainly about the Discovery Networks. You know, or, or it was. You probably got on my complaints in the first few minutes. You know, but... I've seen way too much Alaskan crab fishing now. And I don't need to see more stuff... And I don't need to see more stuff about fishing. I mean... What what next? They're gonna have bass fishing on there? You know, where they're just sitting out watching the water until something bites? You know, I understand that's dangerous too, but still, it, you know, it gets a little boring. Anyways... You know, I just like to find one channel where I can see crap blow up all the time. One channel that's on Comcast Basic Cable. Where where I just see get to see lots of karate fights and shit blowing up and awesome stuff. I'm not I'm not a big story freak. I just like action and explosions and you know, big fights and big battle scenes or you know, little super fast karate fights. In other words, everything that Dragon Ball Z had, but you know, that's not what this is about. Anyways, yeah, it's... Reality shows are taking over Discovery Networks. I don't need... And what TLC has on... Well... There'll probably be a part two to this strand or something. But all TLC has on right now is, um... Guys getting up in the morning, you know, you see them sh And you watch them shave, and you watch, you know, what people's life are li is like with a baby, okay? That's basically all you see, and then you see shit about fashion, you know, girls freaking out about fashion, blah, 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 blah. Well, okay, my time is almost.